Hey everybody, my name is Mike Montgomery and today I'd like to show you how I built this LED framed mirror on modern builds. So the story of this mirror is a long one. About two months ago, I put out a project video renovating this entire bathroom. And in that video, I planned on installing this mirror. But unfortunately, I just now got it finished about five attempts later. Let me tell you where I went wrong and maybe you can avoid the same mistakes. So the original game plan was to do this on the most DIY level possible. I was gonna get a pane of glass and get some spray mirror in a rattle can. The plan was to mask off everywhere I didn't want the mirror and where I wanted the light to show through. Then I'd spray on the mirror finish, remove that masking tape, and then I would use frosted glass spray to etch the glass where the light would be shining through. Well, unfortunately it just turned out I wasn't able to get a quality reflection from that large of a surface with the spray mirror finish. I did about eight coats on one mirror, which was about three cans, and I still got a hazy finish, unfortunately. So I broke down and I went to my local glass shop and I had them cut this for me. Overall, I I think I spent about 140 bucks for this mirror, but it was only $50 more expensive than just buying a pane of glass and doing all of the spraying myself. In reality, after I priced out the spray paint mirror and the frosted glass spray, it was actually more expensive than just letting the glass shop do it. I think it's just one of those cases where letting the professionals do what they do best is the best option. The first thing I wanted to do was get my eighth inch thick piece of plywood that I'll be using to cut the back of the light box. Here I'm measuring it so that there's about a half inch buffer between the edge of the etched glass and the inside of the frame. Make sure you've got plenty of support whenever you're breaking down big pieces of plywood like this. Then I moved over to my miter saw and I cut my four pieces for the outside of the frame. Now of course you can glue and screw these together, but I chose to use my 18 volt Ryobi Brad Nailer. It's super fast and super easy. Then I could grab my plywood panel and attach it to the back of the frame. I'm just using screws, that way if I ever need to get back in there to adjust any of the electrical, I can still do it. Here I'm cutting more 1x3s for the inside frame of the light box. And instead of just a half inch border between the etched glass and the frame, for the inside I'm doing about a 3 inch gap. Before I attach that to the rest of the light box, I wanted to round over the outside corners. That way when the LEDs are attached to it, they wouldn't be sitting on that hard 90 degree angle. Placing and centering this piece was actually pretty easy. All I did was put it into the light box and then make sure all of my gaps were consistent. Then I could hot glue it in place, flip it over, and attach screws so it's held permanently. To make the light box blend in even better, I'm going to be staining it the same color that I stained the accent wall behind it. And I'll have links to all the products that I use down in the description of the video. Not only am I staining the outside, but I'm also going to paint the inside white. That way it reflects as much light as possible and makes everything as bright as possible. You remember when I said I've had to make a few versions of this mirror? Well, I've used these LED strips a few times, so the adhesive that's on the back of them really wasn't stick anymore. So I just used hot glue to attach it to the light box frame. This LED kit definitely isn't the cheapest on the market, but it's a lot better than the cheap $20, $30 kits that you can get on Amazon. A lot of the cheap multicolor LED kits don't have a good pure white. It's usually tinted a little bit blue or a little bit yellow, but this has a really pure 5000K color temperature. Moment of truth. Ooh, wow. That's really bright. I want to extend a huge thank you to Ryobi Nation for sponsoring this video. Not only are the build plans for this project going to be on Ryobi Nation, but literally hundreds and hundreds more. So go down to the link in the description, check out Ryobi Nation, sign up, get an account, and get involved. Whether you want to post projects so you can share it with others, or just get inspiration, Ryobi Nation is awesome. Thanks guys! Even though I ordered it from a glass shop, there was a couple sections in the etched glass that weren't as even as the others. So I masked everything off and I put on a couple coats of frosted glass spray to even everything out. And it worked great. So this is the adhesive I'm using. It's called Dow Corning 795. I don't know if it's the best thing, but it's what the glass shop recommended to me. So that's what I'm going to use. I made sure to apply a really thin bead on the outside of the frame. That way if there was any squeeze out, it wouldn't mess up the etched part of the mirror. It would squeeze to the outside of the frame and I could just wipe that up. 
Whenever you're lowering your mirror onto the frame, make sure it's centered and that you're not gonna get any of that adhesive on your etched section. Cause I think that'd probably ruin it. Nice. After I clamped it lightly for 24 hours, we could hang it into the wall. Once it was set into the cutout of the wall, I used some small angle brackets to hold everything in place. To power the LEDs, I used the wiring from the old lighting fixture and ran an outlet behind the mirror. That way, I could plug it in and it can run off of the same switch as the other lights in the bathroom. How cool is that? And all this extra lighting is great for styling my hair with the modern build signature pomade. Also going to throw in a red dragon three-piece sword set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. This was probably the biggest battle I've ever had with the project. The amount of times I either had something go wrong in the middle of the process or a mirror break, I think this is now my fifth attempt. But on the bright side, with each iteration, I was able to make revisions and improve upon the last design, and this one really came out great. I wanna give one more huge thanks to Ryobi Nation for sponsoring this video and continuing to support modern builds. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, all the build plans for this project will be on Ryobi Nation, and I'll have links to that down in the description. And while you're there, make sure and check out all the other projects that are on Ryobi Nation. They've got tons of awesome DIY content. If you have any questions or comments about this project, I'll be answering as many as I can down in the comments. And if you wanna keep up with me throughout the week, Instagram is the best place to do that. I've been posting a ton of stories lately. And really quick, I'd appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. That just lets YouTube know that this was a good video and to suggest it to other viewers. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to say welcome as well as please consider subscribing. That way you can stay updated every time I post a video. Thanks again, everybody. Make sure and check out that full bathroom renovation link down in the description. And we'll see you next week on Modern Builds.